When the newspaper article appeared and it said that Gary Taylor had been killed at Burke's flat, Ron felt a civic duty to come forward and go to the Maryborough police and mention the fact that he'd had a really strange encounter in that same area. 8 p.m. on the 4th of April, 1966. It's just three days before Gary's accident, and Ron Sullivan is driving across Burke's flat. In the fields ahead, and off to the side of the road, he spots a light. Actually, I thought it was the back light of a tractor. I didn't take much notice. As I got close to it, it, uh, it flared out on the ground, and then the bottom come up in a sort of a tube, a vertical cone. The cone-shaped light appears to sit on the ground. The light was, uh, it was contained. It, it was very strange light. It, it never let off shadows or anything. It was like a, just a vertical ice cream cone. And I thought, holy moly, what in the hell's going on here? Seconds later, the phenomenon performs an extraordinary maneuver. Went as fast as speed of light straight up in the sky. And I thought, what in the, what's going on? Ron is shaken by the encounter, but thinks nothing more of it until he learns about Gary's death on Burke's flat. He had a friend called um, Hugh Hunter, who worked for the Maryborough Advertiser. He was a reporter, and he was very interested in the actual event. So they both agreed that they would go back to the site. Four days after his UFO encounter, Ron and his friend Hugh find a circular imprint in the soil of the paddock. It's in the exact same spot he believes he saw the UFO and barely 60 feet from the tree where Gary Taylor crashed. In search of a story, newspapers are quick to connect the mystery hole in the ground, Ron's UFO sighting, and the death of Gary Taylor. But what could possibly link a light in the sky and a crater on the ground? 